Welcome to the new wheat variety selection tool. This is a collaboration from the North Carolina OVT program and the small grain, small grain program at North Carolina State University with funding and support by the Small Grain Growers Association. We're gonna run through the main aspects of this tool so that you can find variety information from OVT data quickly and easily. First and foremost, we're gonna look at find variety. This is your first option in this brown box when you first come into the tool. When you click on the find variety option, it pulls up a window where you can type in the name of any variety that you're looking for. For instance, if I wanted to look for cropland 9606, I could type in 96, and it'll give me a selection of all the varieties in OVT data that contain 96. Here you can see at the bottom, I have cropland 9606. If I click on that, it brings up a window that shows me the variety details for that variety that I'm looking for. On the top, you can see where that variety was tested, what years it was tested in. You can see a featured image for that variety, and then the link to a text sheet for that variety. If you want to look for additional information you can't find in this tool. At the bottom, it shows you the company that that variety comes from and whether that variety is available or unavailable for commercial purchase. If you look at the top menu options and click on images, you'll see all the available images and or videos for that variety. In this instance, we have a video from Union County in 2020. You click on that video, it'll bring up a preview pane of all the frames from that video so you can see what you'd expect when you play that video. And it gives you the option to play that video as well. If we leave Cropland 9606 and go back to our original variety, find variety options, we can also look for varieties that have names like Shirley. So I can type SH, it gives me all SH options that don't look like Shirley. I can add an I and now I have Shirley. Click on that and I get the same window that we saw with Cropland. The difference here is that we have attributes associated with this variety from head type all the way through stripe rust and leaf rust ratings. We should have these ratings available and showing on the main variety tab for all the varieties that we've tested in 2020 for the wheat variety selection tool. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Post and she's gonna tell you a little bit about how to use the query by variety function in this blue box. So one of the main functions that you'll be using with this variety selection tool is query by variety. This is a piece of the tool where you can select different characteristics of wheat varieties and look for ones that will best meet your production goals. So if we click on query by variety, we see that it still brings up fine variety, just like uh, Ryan showed us, but we have this additional field, select data field. And this is where we're gonna enter the characteristics we want to sort by. So I'm gonna add four of these. You can search by only one or two, but I wanna look at um, a full uh, suite of characteristics that would give me a high yielding and high quality wheat for milling and baking. You might be looking for wheat where you just look for resistance for a particular disease, or you might be just looking for high yield and high test weight, and that's fine. You can use whatever criteria you would like here. So I'm gonna start by entering a characteristic of head scab. So I definitely want resistance to head scab. So you, if you click on the select data field, you can scroll through and choose whichever one of the characteristics you want. So there are many characteristics to choose from, or you can type it into the box. So in this one, I'm gonna select, and I want head scab to be equal to moderate resistance. We don't have any true resistance to this disease, so MR is the best we can do. Next, I'm gonna select test weight. I'm gonna enter this one by typing it so that you can see the difference. Okay, test weight, now it comes up there. I want my test weight to be greater than 58. I'm gonna choose falling number. Um, falling number is a characteristic that we only have two years of data for, uh, and currently in the tool, only the 2019 data is available, but very soon the 2020 data will be available. Falling number, I want that to be greater than 280. And some cases, uh, mills are purchasing at lower than these numbers, but for my particular case, I want 280. And then finally, I want to choose uh, yield. So I chose yield last. Um, many growers 
like yourself or agents that are searching through this tool might be using yield first, but I will caution you against using yield only as a selection criteria because it really does vary from year to year and you want to use other characteristics um, to match your production practices uh, and then in addition to yield to get down to the varieties that will work best for you. So for yield here, I'm going to choose kind of a lower yield greater than 75. We have lots of varieties that do better than 75, um, but I want to kind of show the tutorial so that it can be used by many growers, not just those that are high production. So I'm going to click the search function here, and it's going to search through that seven years of data and return only the entries that have this combination of characteristics at some location in some year. So you can see it's returned four varieties for me, Agrimax 415, Agrimax 473, Cropland 8550, and USG 3536. Well, that's great. And I might get down to this list just using the OBT data online as tables, but now I want to compare them side by side with one another. And that's more challenging to do, um, but we do have a compare tool here so that we can see them side by side. So we hit that compare tool. And we see each one of those varieties populated on this form with all of their characteristics included. So not only the characteristics we filtered by, but all the other characteristics that are available to look at, such as height and percent lodging at the different locations, what type of heads they have, and the different susceptibilities they have to diseases. If you look here, it tells us under variety records that we have a differing number of variety records for each one of these. So Agrimax 415, for example, has been in 14 um, site years of data, and Cropland 8550 has only been in eight site years of data for this data set. And if I want to, I can compare only the data sets where they have all been present in the same field at the same time. And to do that, I would go up to the top and click Correlated Data. So I've clicked that, and now it returns me only those eight fields where they have all been in the same field at the same time. So looking across here at yield, I can see um, yields ranging from 86 all the way up to almost 94. And if I want to see all the yields that go into that calculation, I just click on the yield characteristic here and it opens that up and shows me each one of the yields at each location. So for example, I'm looking at statewide information here, but if I'm a grower that is local to um, Beaufort, I might see that those yields are slightly lower for all of those varieties when we look at this particular data set. And when I look at Rowan, for example, in 2018, those yields were all um, slightly higher than the parameters that I was searching for. But if you close it back up, you can see they average out to better than the parameter that I selected. The other piece that you want um, to use here is going back to each of those individual varieties on their own. So like Ryan was showing in Find Variety, you can go back to that information right over here. It lists the varieties you're, uh, you've selected for compare, and you have a little icon beside it. Um, here is where you go back to that text sheet and picture. So for Agrimax 415, we have a featured image, and we also have the text sheet there and whether or not it's available. Again, you can export that as an image and you can also copy that variety link by using one of these two icons at the top if you would like to send that information away to someone else. And then if you just want to go look at the images, you would click on the image icon. So this is how you use the compare function and link it back to the individual variety information for the Medius Wheat Variety Selection Tool for North Carolina. Now I'm going to turn it back over to Ryan to discuss analytics. So we've talked about two options using this tool. If you know either what variety you're specifically looking for, or if you know a variety, specific variety characteristics that you want to look for, both in find variety and query variety, and then that way you can compare across those. One option that we want to show you here now is what if I want to look at data overall from last year? What if I want to look across everything that was tested in the OBT? Or what if I want to look at three or two year tables like I've been doing in the past? That's where you go to the seal box, which is the analytics box. So if we click on that, it's going to bring up a multicolored spreadsheet here. Let's start by the fact that we're looking at, if you look at this top left tab, yield. So these are all yield values across all regions 
And if you look at the top here for 2020, right now this tool is only showing single year results. In future versions, this tool will show multi-year results, which will show up on your very right-hand side of the screen. For now, it's just for 2020. So we're looking at yield across all of our locations. When we talk about making variety selections, we want to look at multiple year data and statewide data before we look at single year locations. So that's where you can go all the way to the right hand side here, where it says 2020 average and total. And you can sort this by clicking on the headers. Any of these headers, you can click on to sort them. So we want to see highest to lowest for statewide, we'll click on total. And that'll give us a range from Agrimax Science 492 up here at 93.6 bushels per acre, all the way down, if we scroll all the way down, to Agrimax 496 at 63 bushels per acre. So that's our statewide yield results for 2020. These different colors indicate how these yields are separating out against all of the other yields in that same test. So this teal color is the absolute highest yield for statewide in this category. These blue colors are anything that's above average. So that's above average yields for that category. So above average yields for statewide. These yellow colors are anything that's below average. And this red color is the absolute minimum for that category. So that's the absolute minimum for statewide. And that's true for all of these values across all these different regions. It just varies by region, the region you're looking for. So not only can we look at yield here, but we can also look at metrics like height. So we can look up here where it says yield and height, and we can change that to look at any number of different metrics that are up here, like percent protein. So we click on percent protein, it gives us another tab over here. We can click on that, and again, it will populate with, not for 2020, because we didn't have protein in 2020, you have to change back to 2019. It'll populate with the percent protein values that we found at our two locations in 2019. So that's a way to look at the data globally from what just came out this previous year. Now, if you want to get back, if you have some varieties that you really like out of this look, you can get back to the compare variety very easily. For instance, I'm going back to yield here and I want to sort and look at what USG 3118, Berkeley, and 9606 are compared to each other. The easy way to do that is to click on each one of these lines, so you highlight them, and then go back up to this top right compare selected varieties tool, this little arrow that crosses itself. You click on that, once you have the varieties highlighted, and it takes you right back that, to that same compare tool that you were saying that Dr. Post has mentioned earlier. Again, you have the same options to take off correlated data or leave on correlated data, and you can change the years that we're looking at. For instance, right now we're just looking at 2019, but we can change that to 2020, 2018 to 2020. So we're gonna get three years worth of data across these three varieties. And just like you saw in the compare, compare, compare um, example, see how they compare to each other. So we're currently in the testing phase for this tool and it may change quite a bit over the next year. And much of that will be determined by how you all experience using this tool. Please send us feedback as to how you like the tool, if you run into any uh, bugs or hiccups when you're trying to search for varieties or you find areas where data is not populated, it will help us to make this tool better for you. And also if there are characteristics you see not included that you think should be included, do let us know that as well. We hope you enjoy it and have fun selecting the varieties for your farm this year.